Hey, race fans, Steve Letard here from NASCAR Fantasy Fast Lane in Kentucky. It's race day for the Cup Series, so it's time to work on our fantasy lineups. And for that, I've enlisted my teammate at NBC here, Jeff Burton. Jeff, thanks for joining me. Yeah, it's fun, man. I love, to, love talking fantasy and who can get what done tonight. Well, I have to outscore him, so I hope he doesn't pay attention very well. But I think it comes <laughs> down to the favorites. When you come to Kentucky, only three drivers have ever visited, visited Victory Lane here. Brad, Kyle, and Truex. In my mind, what I've seen in practice, Brad Kozlowski and Kyle Busch are still starts in my lineup. They've been great all weekend long. Yeah, they have been. And, you know, you and I are both a little bit concerned about Martin Truex Jr., but it's hard not to put him in my list. I mean, he hasn't shown that speed, but he's pretty much swept the last two races here. It'd be really hard not to have him on my list. Well, this is where I'm going to gain points then, because I'm avoiding Truex. Like Jeff said, he has won every stage and the race, but I haven't seen it in practice. I may be wrong, but I'm betting against the 19 car today. So now I think we have to talk about who else fills out that lineup. How about the pole sitter, Daniel Suarez? A lot of speed and qualifying. What do you think of race trend? Well, he, he said he, how much he loved his race car. Then he went out and sat on the pole with that car that he loved. He talked about how excited he was. And then also, like, he's got a look in his eye, man. You give him a sniff of the wind, that guy's going to do everything it takes to make it happen. He is on my list for sure. Yeah, I'm absolutely starting Daniel Suarez. And I'm actually going to be a pretty heavy SHR lineup. I like Eric Amarola, and I like Kevin Harvick. Your opinion on those two? Yeah, but listen, I just don't know if Kevin Harvick's snake bit, right? Every time they're yeah. having a good run, something seems to happen, and when is he going to break through? Uh, you know, if you, if, if you have the opportunity to use Kevin Harvick, it's always hard not to, but they've got to get that bag of luck off their, off their shoulder, and I don't know if that happens tonight or not. That's so, a tough one. Well, so two other organizations we need to talk about, Chip Ganassi and Hedger Motorsports. Real quick, Chip Ganassi Racing, Kyle Larson, Kurt Busch, I don't see it out of the 42 of Kyle Larson. Kurt Busch may be a garage pick, but the 42, I know he was good at Chicago. I've yet to see it here. The only reason I would consider putting Larson in my lineup is this second and third group. Will he go there, and with the PJ1 that they put down, they put another coat down this morning, will he go there and be able to make that work? He's willing to look for, for lines that other people want. I didn't see that much speed. I think Kurt's better, but that opportunity I don't even pick one, I'm going with Kurt, but but I would not totally discount Larson. How about Chicago winner Alex Bowman and the entire Hendrick camp? No. Well, we agree <laughs> on that. Hendrick Motorsports was great at Chicago. Something hasn't quite clicked here at Kentucky, but set your fantasy lineup and good luck today in NASCAR Fantasy Live.